When I first came here to appear in John Murray Anderson's Almanac, the press asked me, what were your first impressions of America, Miss Gingell? And I said, well, first the harbor, then the skyline, and then, of course, that enormous statue of Judith Anderson. And they said, tell us about yourself, Miss Gingell. Well, luckily I had a piano handy, so I said, it is many a year since I launched my career in Shakespeare. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where far art thou, Romeo? <laughs> Rather nice, eh? At a most tender age, I first dotted on stage as a page. Now I first acted, let's see, when would it be? It was uh, 23. And although it seems queer in the very next year, I played Leah. Ah, those were the days, and I thought they had gone. But some weeks ago, a young man called John, I think it was Gielgud. Yes, yes, I'm quite sure. He rang me up and invited me out on a tour for 52 weeks as a witch in Macbeth. Well, a prospect I thought little better than death. So I said, Mr. Gielgud, my dear, there's one point on which I'm not clear. We fixed up the sordid finance, so to speak. And I'm working for practically nothing a week, but in which part am I to appear? Which which? Is it first which or second or which? As one who's played Lady Macbeth in her day, I must be the witch who has most lines to say. Now the tall, squaggy, thin one will not interest me. I must be the hag with the gag in Act Three. If it's the first witch, then I should love it. But if it's the second, you know where you can shove it. I will not be the one who just croaks in the shade. I must have the lights on my face, I'm afraid so, to avoid any last minute hitch. Would you kindly inform me? Which witch? Which witch? Is it Ethel or Fanny or which? Now, don't think I insist on a part that is huge, but I've never in 42 years been a stooge. The part must be one in which I'll get my teeth, not the hag who keeps shouting, all hail, on the heath. When we are grouped round the cauldron and watching it bubble, well, I must be well lit or else there'll be trouble. We can fix up these things when we start to rehearse, but I must be the witch who has got the best curse. So before I pack one single bag, I just want to know, dear, which hag? When I done, Mr. Gilgood said blossed. I will not have that witch in the cost. And I found that I'd quite cleared my pitch. So I never discovered a witch witch.